Hey everybody, Tacking here, and welcome to the answer segment of the question and answer videos I'm doing. Yeah, um, forgive me for whispering, um, there is a giant silverback gorilla in my living room who is sleeping very peacefully right now. Um, don't ask me how he got there, but he's very sensitive to uh, noise, so if I wake him up, he will run up the stairs, rip open this door, and uh, twist my head off my body, and I would prefer not that to happen. So we are just going to go ahead with the answers here. Um, the top comments are the ones I'm going to read to begin with, and then maybe after a few of those I'll switch over to the newest comments because we got over, uh, I think, over 200 yeah, over 200, which some of those might be, like, just replies to other comments, but we'll see. Also, I love XSplit. Whoever invented XSplit and OBS and these different, like, um, softwares needs to be rewarded a medal. Because it, it, it gives, like, the illusion that I'm editing my videos to, like, like, I, like, before XSplit, I'd have to go into my editing software and then add all this together, which it wouldn't take very long, but... It would take time to render, and this is going to be a long-ass video, so. So, yeah. Okay. So, what city are you going to move to after you get your life together? Yeah, my life is just a pile of shit right now. No, it's actually pretty nice. I know what you meant. Um, I really don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know if city would be the right way to say it. I don't really want to live in a city. Um, you know, when I was a kid growing up, I always wanted to, because I, I grew up out in the country, I'm still in the country, so ever since I was a little kid, it was like, oh, I'm going to move away, and I'm going to move to the big city, and then I actually visited the big city, I've been to New York City three times, uh, I've been to Pittsburgh multiple times, uh, I've been to Washington, D.C. three times, and I realized the city was not for me, a uh, good place to visit, not a place to live. So if I did move out of where I am now, it would probably not be a city. It would be a, a place that would be, you know, bigger than where I am now. But I'm living in, like, a little village right now. So literally anywhere would be bigger. Um, maybe somewhere that's close to a city. Because, like, we're quite literally out in the middle of nowhere right now. The nearest city is about two miles away. I mean, I mean, two hours away, which would be Pittsburgh. Uh, so maybe a place that's, like, in a suburb area, a place where, like, I could drive to a city in, like, less than half an hour, 40 minutes, but not in a city itself. If you could change two things about your life outside of YouTube, what would they be? Oh, yeah, and thanks to Danny Bleach, the anime hero, King AMVs. That's a long YouTube name, bro. Why do you need a YouTube name that, that freaking long? the anime hero and also I should throw out there this is not a stab at Danny I'm sure Danny is an amazing person but I've noticed so many people that this was more prominent when I started on YouTube people were doing like all the different like titles to their names like I'm the anime hero I'm the anime champion I'm the anime man I, well there is an anime man and he has like 500,000 subscribers so he kind of succeeded but you know um you know, giving the title to yourself, I don't know, doesn't really make you the hero, it's just whatever. Anyway, two things about my life, what would they be? Um, I would probably, number one, go back in time and tell myself to not be such a pansy with girls, but I would tell myself to focus on stuff that mattered more than that, um... I know you want me I know you want me thinking about that, but here's the basic idea. When I was in high school, the only thing I gave a shit about was this girl I had a crush on. Like that was the only thing. I didn't care about what I was going to do after college, I mean after high school. I didn't care what my aspirations were. I didn't care about joining clubs or sports or becoming socially involved. I didn't give a shit about any of that. All I wanted to do was date this one girl that already had a fucking boyfriend and was way out of my league. So I would go back in my time and I would just say, like, listen, don't worry about her. If you want to think about yeah, that's fine, but focus on other shit. Like, there, there, there was a fucking, uh, like, a media club. Like, you could join, like, a broadcast news club 
and then you know do the news in the school and knowing how I am right now I, I would have loved to do that I would have absolutely loved to do something like that but I didn't why because this girl that I liked she's pretty and I wanted to you know, yeah it's just bullshit it was all I thought about day and night and I just I would I would change that and the second thing I would change about my life um man I I don't know maybe I, I've always wanted to play an instrument I've always wanted to be really good at playing an instrument. Um, piano is one, and or or learning another language, one of the two. And these things are obviously you can learn them later in life, but it's a lot easier to learn when you're a child. And I never gave a shit about it when I was a kid growing up. So I would probably go back to when I was like really young, and I'd tell myself to like learn how to play the piano, e even if I hated it. Or, or learn how to speak fluent Japanese. Like, I think that would be really fucking cool. So that would probably be the two thing things. Uh, Luffy versus Doflamingo. I told you this wasn't anime related. Okay, you're banned for life. Sorry, I gave you a warning. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not that mean. You caught up with The Walking Dead uh, and my favorite Walking Dead arc. I don't know if you're talking about the arc as in, in the comic books or in the TV show. But I am caught up with the TV show uh, up till the end of season six. I've seen every episode. Probably my favorite arc would be... I really enjoyed the arc when they were traveling to Terminus, the latter half of season four. And I think a lot of people might not like that part of the story because the group was all split up. But that's one of the reasons I liked it was because we saw the group, how they function together the entire series up until that point, and then now they're all broken up and they have to kind of come to terms with stuff in their own realities, and then they have to find some way to come together, and it, it I, I love that part of it. I love the introduction of um, the Marauders, or the Claimed Gang, you know, Joe and them guys. I thought they were, those people were really good, really entertaining. Um... That the last episode of season four is probably my all-time favorite episode of The Walking Dead. It's titled A, and it's the one where they finally reach Terminus, and they have, they meet the Hunters, and they meet fucking Gareth, and um, just a great episode. And the episode immediately following that, that's kind of like a two-parter. Uh, those are like my two favorite episodes probably of The Walking Dead, but I am caught up. Are you gonna go Bonkai? Okay, that's whatever. Uh, do you know? Do you still play Yu-Gi-Oh? If so, what's your favorite card? I do still play Yu-Gi-Oh. I duel with a six samurai deck, and my favorite card, growing up, it's always been Jinzo. I think that's a pretty common card to be referred to as your favorite. Jinzo is pretty favorite, but uh, I mean, he's like a cyborg burn victim guy with like cool goggles and like armor and electrical and like zombie shit I, d I don't know how to describe Jinzo he's like a, a zombie but he's a cyborg but he's from the future but he's psychic I just I don't know mm. uh, uh, want to go on a date yeah sure who do you like better Batman versus Superman or Civil War I've actually not seen Dawn of Justice um, well I saw parts of Dawn of Justice it was like an internet thing I didn't get to see the whole thing um, but maybe when I see the whole thing in its entirety, I'll come back to you. But Civil War, I really enjoyed. What did you think of Civil War? Okay, better question. Um, I like Civil War, and I think I saw somebody asking a question. Yeah, down here, there's another question about Civil War. So I enjoyed Civil War uh, as an answer to your question, but I'll get to that in a further question down here. Where did you get your channel's name? Okay, I've almost certainly mentioned this before. I know I have multiple times, uh, and I have a video on this. It's called The Origin of Teching, but just to give you a brief overview, um, I was like 12 years old, and I was a big fan of Zoe 101, which was a f show on Nickelodeon starring Jamie Lynn Spears, and I wanted to get on a forum to talk about Zoe 101. And what do you need on a forum? They have to, they make you fill out all this shit first. They make you fill out, you know, your name and your, your whatever, so you can get your login ID. 
And when you're like a 12 year old kid, that's like the most annoying thing ever, you know, like, I just want to fucking join. I don't care. So I just, I was like thinking like off the cuff of names and I was like, techie okay i'm kind of like the king of tech because i have all these like game consoles because i'm a spoiled child because i'm an only child and i picked teching and then 101 from zoe 101 there you go what do you do you think you can take a hit from mike tyson without getting knocked out cold um well yeah the the only way i would get knocked out cold is if he punched me in like my head region you know, like if he punched me in like my, my leg or something, I mean, it would hurt like a motherfucker, but it wouldn't knock me out unless the pain itself knocked me out. But yeah, I think I can get punched in the leg by Knight Tyson and not get knocked out. I'm pretty confident in that. Uh, I love Mike Tyson mysteries, by the way, but this is not talking about cartoons. So what equipment do you use to record your video and audio? Well, I use a... Do I have my camera up here? No, I don't. My camcorder is a Canon Vixia R600 series. In terms of audio, I use this blue snowball microphone up here, and my webcam is a um, Logitech C920. So there you go. Uh, what game series do you play most often? Um, I'm a big fan of handheld games. I don't play my Xbox all that much. Um... When I did, I was a fan of the Call of Duty games, and that's not because of the, you know, the the amazing plot of the of the games or anything. I enjoyed the Call of Duty series because it was like shooting people, and it was good to vent, especially when you are in high school and all you want to do is have this girl talk to you, and she doesn't talk to you. It's good to come home and like vent my frustrations by like, ah, I'm gonna nuke this entire town. I'm just kidding, I never got the tactical nuke. I was never good enough. But that's the only games I played on my Xbox. Um, for my 3DS, I haven't played it in a while, but uh, Fire Emblem Fates um, Birthright is what I'm playing right now. And uh, Pokemon, of course, as you already know. But those are some of my favorite series. Uh, did you ever come to... Yeah, that's another... Okay, what did you think of Civil War? All the pros and cons. Okay, overall, I enjoyed Civil War. But the thing that probably irked me the most, and it was at the beginning of the movie, and I should keep in mind, I should probably list the pros first before I get into the negatives. One of the pros I loved about it is I feel like they finally got Spider-Man right, okay? Like, I, I have grown up with two different Spider-Man franchises, okay? And this will be the third incarnation of Spider-Man that I am seeing on the big screen, and this is the only one I feel actually got it right. The original Spider-Man... Because you know, people have to remember one little thing about Spider-Man is that he's supposed to be 15. <laughs> and the thing is, with the Tobey Maguire ones, it's like, yeah, he's in high school, but I felt like they didn't write him as a 15-year-old. They wrote him as somebody that was more college age. Um, and The Amazing Spider-Man, kind of similar. Um, but... He's a 15-year-old kid, and he's awkward, and he's, you know, not very social, and I think they nailed that for the first time here, because the person they cast as Spider-Man actually looks like a 15-year-old kid. I don't really, actually, you know, let's go check that right now. <laughs> I don't know how old the guy is that they got to cast as Spider-Man, but let's see. I don't even know his name, honestly. Captain America Civil War. And I'm now, I'm actually, tell you what, I'm actually really pumped for fucking Homecoming now because of this. You know, and uh, Tom Holland, he is 19 years old. Okay, but he plays it well. He plays it really well. So way to go, Tom Holland. You did a good job, man. Um, You know, because they, they got his dialogue good. You know, I don't even read the comic books. I mean, I've seen a few... But I have I don't I don't own any, but I've read a few Spider Man comics, but I think they got his character right. I'm fine with it. What I don't like about Civil War, and I'll tell you this, at the beginning of the movie, there's the scene where Tony Stark is confronted by the mother of a child that was killed in Sokovia. 
And this is kind of like the impetus for the moment where Tony realizes that the Avengers need to be restrained. They need to be limited in what they do. And of course, this eventually balloons into Tony supporting the Accords and fighting against Captain America. Because you'd think Tony would be like the first person to say, fuck the Accords. But the whole reason he isn't is because he's like, he's been opened up by this kid. And there's a moment in the movie where he like, like when everyone looks at him and they're asking, you know, what do you think, Tony? And they're expecting him to say one thing. Tony's like, I'm for the Accords and I'll tell you why. And he pulls out this picture of a kid and he's just like, yep, he was a really, really aspiring young man. He went on this trip and he wanted to save people and we dropped the city on him. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, Tony, is this like the first time you're finally clicking it that people have died because of the Avengers, because of you, because of Iron Man? Let me ask you something. And they never touch upon this in the actual movies, maybe because it would be a little bit too dark or whatever. Go watch the climax of any movie in the MCU from Iron Man up until um now in civil war and you try to tell me that nobody gets critically in no bystanders are getting critically injured or killed during these fucking huge ass big fight scenes most of which happen in heavily populated cities <laughs> iron man one tony engages in fucking combat with uh obadiah in this giant Oh, Iron Mongol suit in the middle of fucking New York City. People died there. Fucking New New York City in uh uh in well maybe not Iron One was not New York City but um Avengers was New York City. There's scenes where the Hulk is like running around tearing off buildings and shit. People died there not because of the aliens because of the Avengers. Fucking. There's a scene in Age of Ultron where Tony engages in combat against the Hulk, wearing Hulkbuster armor in the middle of this pop, well-populated um, marketplace. There's not a, you're telling me there's not a single fucking person that accidentally got smacked around by the Hulkbuster suit. You know, Tony knocks some debris away and clocks some poor son of a bitch in the head and dies. No. Even if they didn't show it, there's no way you can have a battle of that level and not have people die. And one, one more, and I'll, I'll, I'll move on. I, I, I love Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 is probably one of my favorite movies in the MCU. There's a scene in the climax of, the M, of uh, Iron Man 2 where you have this big stadium of people that are in this um, building that has a glass ceiling. And during the climax of the movie, this glass ceiling gets shattered. And these huge pieces of broken glass all fall on the crowd below. You're telling me not a single person got fucking eye glass shard right through the fucking eye and died. In a crowd of like hundreds of maybe a thousand people. No. 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 This, this, that just didn't make any fucking sense to me. Why Tony is now just, oh yeah, because of this one kid. It seemed laughable to me. But that's really the only main problem I had with it. The reason why Tony is against the, I mean, for the Accords. The reason that, the, but, but it's like the impetuous, like this kid is supposedly like the impetuous for why Captain America and Iron Man are at, like, at each other's throats that much. Because it's because of this kid that Tony decides to go with the Accords and that's the whole reason why everything just gets fucked up. But I like Spider-Man. I liked Ant-Man returning. Love Ant-Man. Um, yeah. Love it. Everything else was great. 9 out of 10. Uh, uh, how Do I have a girlfriend? No. How tall are you? I'm 5 foot 6. I think. Yeah. What do you plan on doing after college? Uh, immediately after college? Probably taking a break from college. Uh, my first real date with a girl... It was not really that date-y. 
Um, we went to go see The Conjuring, which was a movie that was released in like 2013. So now you have a better idea of how old I was when I had my first date. Um, I, I don't even know if I would consider it a date because we weren't really, mu- we weren't really much of a couple. Um, you know, we went to a movie and I'm trying to remember how this worked. I, we went to the movie and I'm like, okay, I'm going to pay for her because it's, she's my date. But she's like, no, I'll pay for myself. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to push it. And, uh, then we went out to eat and, um, she paid for her own food. And then she kind of made like a snide remark to me as we were leaving that I had to pay, that she had to pay for my own, her own food. And I was like, but you what I, okay. So I guess the rule is don't let her pay for the movie, but do pay for her food. I don't know the rules here. (laughs) I even flat out told her, like, this is my first real date with a girl. I don't even know if I would consider it a real date, but this is my first date. So I'm like, you know, not, not up to date with how you're supposed to do things. But I think she was a mixed signals there. Have you been listening to any bands in particular lately? I've been listening to more angsty nineties bands than I usually do. Like I've always been a big fan of nine inch nails, but I've been listening to more, um, smashing pumpkins and, uh, Fucking, uh, let me give me a second. Sonic Youth. There we go. A few songs from Sonic Youth. You know, the, the, sometimes I wish I was growing up in the in the in the mid '90s. Like I was like three or four in the mid '90s. Uh, I wish I like if I was like born in the '80s, I'd be growing up like a teenager in the '90s. It must have been a very interesting time to be a teenager, uh, in an era where the internet did exist, but it didn't it didn't exist yet. It was like it was almost to the point where it is now. Yeah. Mm. Have I ever read The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel? No, I have not. Favorite genre of music? I don't really have a favorite genre. I can tell you the genres I don't like, and that would be country and rap. Country, not, not, country, not real country. Real country is stuff like in the 50s, the country that exists now, like Luke Bryan and fucking Taylor Swift, that kind of country, not a fan of. But other than that, I'm pretty much a fan of everything. Uh, favorite artist? My favorite band is Panic at the Disco. So that will give you kind of a basic idea of my kind of music that I enjoy. But I like it. I listen to anything. How big is your dick? No homo. Seven likes up. Um, you know, I've mentioned this on a stream before. I don't know if it's like a common thing that all guys do at some point to measure their dicks. Like, I saw a a meme on Facebook once. It was like... Um, a girlfriend took a picture of her bathroom. I I guess she lives with her boyfriend and she's like, there's always a ruler in every single, every, every bathroom in the house because of my boyfriend. And I'm just sitting there like, is that a common thing to do? (laughs) Cause I don't do that. Couldn't really tell you. Have I seen suits? No, I don't really watch any TV involving the DC universe. No. What are your thoughts on about 95% of your subs being 10 years old? Uh, this guy's a little bit of a known troll on my videos. Not a troll, but an instigator. Motivator? I don't know how you would describe him. Anyway, um, the thing I have to say about that, other than the fact that the majority of my demographics are between the ages of 18 and 36, um, is I don't think there's a lot of 10-year-olds that are huge fans of Bleach. <laughs> because if you're 10... You were born in 2006, and you'd probably, if you are a fan of anime at that point, you'd probably be a fan of the anime that's currently airing on television. You know, maybe there's a few 10-year-olds out there that are big fans of Bleach, but I, I don't think so. Uh, the Pokemon stuff, fine. Um, at the end of the day, even if my audience was nothing but 10-year-olds, I'm still getting paid. I'm still getting views, so I'd thank the 10-year-olds. Top five favorite TV shows, probably in no particular order. Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, um, live-action TV shows. So, uh, Walking Dead. Um, Trying to think. I need to watch more TV. (laughs) I got. I started watching a show rather recently. It's um, Hell Hotel Hell, and it's uh, hosted by Gordon Ramsay, who goes around and reviews hotels. 
Uh, I'm also a big fan of Kitchen Nightmares, so that would explain that. That's really the only kind of reality sort of showish thing I watch. I watch Pawn Stars occasionally, um, so I guess that's five. Is Matthew Crawford your real name? Yeah, I don't know how you'd know that from you know the fact I put it at the end of every single one of my videos, but yeah, that's my real name. Where would you rate Doctor Who in terms of your favorite shows? Probably three or four. What's my favorite season? My favorite season of Doctor Who would probably be season five. It's the first season I ever watched, but it, it featured Matt for the first time, and I think the 11th Doctor in season five is not the same 11th Doctor in subsequent seasons because they did this thing after the first season he was in where they like jumped his character like 200 years in the future, so he's like more experienced. He's the same basic guy. It's just he's fresh and new and just this personality is just so likable in at that fifth season on what hour of what day of what year were you born i was born on i think at 4 30 p.m on april 24th 1993 i believe it was a saturday uh do you have any regrets well sure i do everybody has regrets um it's pretty much impo it's like saying it's like you can go through life without lying or you can go through life with having nothing but happiness or nothing but despair that's just not possible uh do you have any regrets sure i do uh what matters is if i accept those regrets and i accept that it's something that i did um and either go the ne take the ne if it's like a major regret i take the necessary steps to rectify it like if i've wronged somebody or if it's just like something with the piano thing, like, yeah, I regret not learning piano when I was like six or seven years old, but I understand there's really not much I can do about that. Um, and if I really want to rectify that, I just buckle the fuck down and learn how to play the piano, but haven't gotten to that point yet. Can I do some voice work for Ask Bleach? Uh, we'll see where that goes. I still have to do the first episode, and we'll see how popular that is. But um, I'll I'll see where we are after the first episode, which I don't know when's going to be out. And after that, I might see going into like casting calls and stuff. Are you gonna do July vlogs again? Um, I was actually thinking about doing something like that in June, coming up in about a week. So yeah, look forward to that maybe. What is your favorite movie? I, I have so many, and I change it all the time. Uh, Pulp Fiction is a, usually a pretty safe bet. Love Tarantino. Um, if I was the proper age, would I run for president? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, who would want to run for president? Well, I guess Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Donald Trump. <laughs> um, but no, being the president of the country is basically... It's basically like having everybody point at you whenever something goes wrong. If anything goes wrong in this country, no matter whether or not it's your fault or not, people are going to point to you and they're going to blame you. It's going to be like YouTube times a billion or times 315 million, I guess. And I would not want that. And I, of course, don't have the proper training or experience. But hey, neither does Trump, so... Not really much of an issue there, but I would not want that position. Have I seen Nora Gami? Oh, wait, anime question. Y'all are weird. Yeah, well, we're all kind of weird. What are you going to do after you finish college? Spend more time on YouTube? Are you going to plan on making a triple, uh, play any triple a video game? I don't know what that meant, but um, yeah, I'm probably going to play more games and spend the rest of my life in my mom's basement probably no I'm probably gonna figure out next step in my life uh, I am gonna focus on YouTube more but moving out of this house would probably be something that takes precedence um, yeah do you like butt stuff um, no hetero eh, see what you did there um, honestly couldn't tell you Sexual oblivion, my friend. Who did you marry your character in Fire Emblem Awakening and Fates? I didn't even know you could do that. Um, my friend Sarah loaned me Fire Emblem Awakening, and I just played through the game and pretty much ignored a lot of the extra stuff. 
And I haven't really played Fates in a while, but I'm probably not going to do any of the marriage things there either. Uh, what is going to happen in October 2016? You're just going to have to sit back and wait. Have you read the Percy Jackson series? No, I have not. That came out a little bit after my time. I was more into the Harry Potter sort of stuff. Will you be my YouTube mentor? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not taking apprentices. Maybe, I, I don't feel like I'm a, I can have an apprentice yet. I don't feel like I've reached that level to have an apprentice. Um, I, don't, I don't deserve that title of sensei. Wait until I hit 100k and then get back to me. What's your favorite Pokemon? Um, well, it's also a game. Yeah, Pokemon started off as a game. I, I'd say that's a legal question. Uh, Rotom. Rotom or Porygon? Porygon, probably. I like Rotom, too. I only said Rotom because I'm playing Platinum right now, so that's what the first thing I thought of. But no, Porygon's my favorite Pokemon. Do you have any plans to collaborate with anyone? And if so, who and why? I don't know. I don't know. Would you ever come back to New York? Yeah. Yeah, of course I come back to New York. Yeah. Great city. Would it be weird if we hung out one day? I don't know how fun I would be to hang out with. Like, my idea of fun is like hanging out in a basement and watching a movie. Or playing a video game. Like, if you want to go out and, like, play baseball or a sport or something. Or, you know, do anything like that. I'm like, eh, not really fun for me. Any advice about girls? <laughs> wrong. You're asking the wrong person. Don't stare at them. That's actually the best legitimate advice I can give you. Um, okay. I think I'm going to... Let's see. How many questions did I go through? I think a decent amount. Alright, I think I'll skip to the new comments now. and Here we go. Are you going to do a gameplay video or a gameplay channel? I don't see the point in having a gameplay channel. I want my main channel to get to 100,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. So why would I break my channels up? Like, oh, I'm just going to do gaming stuff here and start over from zero. I'm just going to do movie stuff here and start over from zero. No. I'm going to throw pretty much everything that I'm prominently doing on my main channel to get the most subscribers. If, if people are like, oh man, I, I don't want to see all this gaming shit in my feed, then don't watch it. Don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I'll keep doing gameplays, but... I mean, Let's Plays, but I'm not going to bother making a new channel. What would my dream job be? Um, YouTube. This. Where would you like to live? I already answered that. Would you make a video on how to edit a YouTube video? Uh... It's kind of hard to just make a general video on how to edit. I mean, I could go through really simple stuff like just, you know, sp you know, splitting stuff, you know, how the timeline works, chroma keying, um, clever use of, like, transitions and stuff, but depends on the kind of video you're making. Like, the way I edit my Bleach reviews would probably not work for people that are just doing standard vlogs. Do you like Vietnam? Never been there? Uh, the war kind of sucked, but don't really know much about Vietnam. Do you love Duchess? Yes, I do. She's adorable. Just look at the camera and say, Ukiora was awesome. Okay. Ukiora was awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you going to go bon- Oh, yeah, I already answered that. Uh, answered that one. Do you still see yourself being teching 101 five years from now? Well, I'll be teching 101 the rest of my life. I'm, you know, calling myself that, so, yeah. Um, even if my channel somehow gets deleted in the future, I would still be teching 101. I still have all this fan mail. You know, it's going to be awesome if I ever do have kids someday to show them all this fucking fan mail. You know, like, I used to matter someday. But, Dad, you work at a Wendy's now. Yeah, but one day I used to matter. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, sure, why not? You just finished college, right? No, I haven't. I still have another semester yet. And I already answered the rest of this. 
what do you generally like eating for breakfast? How about lunch? Uh, and do you get your five a day? Five a day? I don't know what that is. Do you like playing sports? I'm not a huge sports fan. I like to run. I like to hike out in the woods. I like to do that stuff, just not any particular sport I'm a fan of. Um, what do I eat for breakfast? Uh, I always eat, The first thing I eat every morning, without fail, I always eat a banana. In fact, if I wake up and there's no bananas in the house, like if I forgot to buy some, I get like, oh man, my my whole day is going to be thrown off now. <laughs> um, but I eat that, uh, or a Pop-Tart after that, or maybe some form of like granola bar or something. For lunch, it could be anything. Um, have I seen the Parasite live action movie? No, I haven't. Yeah, now I can finally have my question answered. When did you start splitting into separate people? Was it in a review or was it in a separate video? Oh, yeah. I'm going to, I think, make a video chronicling all the different techings because I've noticed that a lot more people are on my channel now. And people have been sending me messages like, I don't understand a fucking thing about what's going on here, but it's fine. I like you. You're funny. I think I'm just going to make a video just... I don't even know if it's going to be a, a funny video. I'm, I'm just, I might just sit down and explain how it works. So, so look forward to that. Um, Mass dude's real name. I'll get to that later. Yeah, that's all, that's all stuff for later on. Uh, what is your point of view on the Target bathroom controversy? Okay. Um, I honestly... I've heard about this, but I've never sat down and read a specific argue. I mean, a, a specific article about it. But I have been seeing people respond to it very, um, I should say, ineffectually. I've seen videos of people just, you know, usually very religious people walking into Target and just holding up a Bible and like shouting. You know, one guy walked in and started shouting in Target, and this other people, they got, they got like, a, like a group of people together, and then marched through Target, being like, we do not support sin, we do not support that, you know. Um, not the best way to get people from, I mean, I mean it's, it's not going to work. Going into a Target and screaming at the top of your lungs, this is sinful, is, I don't think that's really going to be getting your message across. Because, well, I'll tell you something right off the bat. Um, I'm an atheist, okay? So if I'm in Target, which, by the way, there's no Targets around here. This is part of the reason I'm not that into this story. Because we don't have any Targets even close to where I live. In fact, I don't even know where the fucking nearest Target to where I live is. Uh, it's nowhere close by, let me tell you. Hold on, let me check. Oh, man. Target store. <laughs> the nearest Target is... Okay, it's in Altoona, which is about 45, 50 minutes away from me. I didn't even know there was one there, though. But aside from that one... Holy shit. The nearest Target to where I live... Aside from the one in Altoona is, like, in Pittsburgh. So that's, like, a two-hour drive. And I didn't even know there was one in Altoona. So that just shows you how fucking <laughs> aware I am. But, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm an atheist. So if I'm shopping in Target and somebody comes in and says, These bathrooms are wrong because it's a sin against God. I'm sitting there like, well, that argument is completely irrelevant to me because I don't even believe in God. I don't believe in sin. You know, I'm not... Is there not a single argument you can make that might question my... The, the existence of, like, I mean, the, this bathroom? I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure there's arguments you can make. But you can't just hold up the Bible and use that as your argument. It's, it's not effective. You, you want to come up with a better argument? Here's how you do it. You... Get statistics to back your argument up. You know, people have said, you know, well, what if people get like, you know, people, you know, um, somebody will go into the bathroom and try to molest or, you know, children. I'm sorry to be kind of direct, but that's what people have been saying. Like, all right, um, 
get statistics and stuff to back yourself up on this. Try to figure something out, you know? Don't just walk around and be like, you know, the, God said it! Well, you know, <laughs> sorry, it's not, it's not effective. Not to me, not to a lot of people. Most people are just like, okay, a bunch of people shouting in Target. Uh, what superpower would you like to have? Uh, teleportation. Give me that and I'll be happy. Is there a person or thing that really pisses you off? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of things piss me off. A lot of things on YouTube. A lot of people on YouTube piss me off. But I don't see... I, I'm not... I don't like to use the word... I'm not going to use the D word. The D word has been used so many times on YouTube that it's it's lost all meaning. It's lost all impact and power. You know what word I'm talking about. And no, it's not dick. Although dick has kind of lost power after a while too. A lot of dicks lose power. Yeah, especially after you hit 60. But um, no, you know what D word I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean, people come to my channel to see Bleach reviews. They don't come to my channel to hear me. I'm going to bitch about YouTuber, random YouTuber number 642 today. He made a video about... I'm not going to... Why would I? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? You know, that's not what you want to see. That's not what you come to my channel for. All that does is start more D and cause more problems. So, no, I, you know, there are things that piss me off like everyone else. But, you know, if, if, if it's like a random thing, like, you know, a customer came in and pissed me off today. Okay, that's a nice story to tell. But I'm not going to talk about like another YouTuber or person like that. I've bitched about customers before, but that's only because I know they're not watching my fucking videos. Does hentai count? Oh, because I said no anime. Yeah, hentai counts. I'm sorry. Um, have I ever played Pokemon? Uh, I, I collected the cards all the time. I made my dad buy them all the time, but I never knew how to play. If so, what's your favorite card? Uh, probably Steelix. I had a holographic Steelix growing up. It looked pretty badass. Except YouTube, what is your dream job? Uh, working at working on the set of a big budget Hollywood production, like a blockbuster, like you know, Teching One Hundred Ones, working behind the scenes on Avengers: Infinity War Part Two. Like, even if I'm just like some fucking gaffer or the intern or the understudy the guy that goes gets coffee um, my name would still be in the credits and that would be fucking amazing who's my favorite avenger thor thor man favorite oh favorite history subject and why i love colonial history i also am very partial to world war ii history because world war ii is basically this six-year period where or I guess you want to say four-year period if you're including the United States, but like this period of history during the 20th century where everything gets put on hold and the entire world just enters like this side quest. Okay, like every country, even the ones that did not particularly fight, had something to do with World War II. Like, you can look up on Wikipedia, like, this is what... Canada did during World War II, and it's like a full fucking page. Here's what Australia did during World War II, and it's like a whole fucking page. Um, yeah, even countries that you might not think were important, like South America, like, well, South America's not a country, but like Brazil and shit had something to do with World War II. It's like the entire world had to come together for this one universal thing, and it's like this little subset of history that's so unique to me. So interesting to me as well. Oh, wow. Are you even real? Uh, that depends. Uh, are you a solipsist, derp? You, you might be a solipsist. Do you know what a solipsist is? Solipsists, I had to explain this to my boss the other day. Solipsists are people who have the belief that they're the only real people in existence. Like, everything else is just, like, a world that was crafted specifically for them. Like, I hesitate to say they think they're, like, in a dream state, but they think, like, the entire universe is just in their perception. Like, the second that I exit your field of vision and you can't see me or can't hear me anymore, then I, like, I cease to exist, basically. That's what, like, a solipsist believes in. Do you like cats? I do. 
Um, I do like kitties, not as much as dogs, though. I'm more of a dog person. And would I like to visit Ireland? Yes, I would like to visit Ireland, but I don't drink. So I think my fun would be cut down by about two-thirds if I visit Ireland. How did you convince your mom... How did you convince your mother to allow you to have a YouTube channel? And how do you receive payments for YouTube? Well, I didn't have to ask my mom to anything. I started the YouTube channel and I started making videos. That's that's how that went. Um, and how do I get paid? Um, oh, wait. Shit. Hold on. Oh, okay, no, you can still see it. I thought I brought the um, <laughs> questions down. How do I get paid? Um, I get paid through my network, which is currently full screen. And uh, it's just direct deposit into my bank account. Pretty standard. Uh, what do you think about astronomy? Uh, I love space. I love studying the cosmos. Uh, I love watching the series Cosmos, uh, both, of, both of them. Um, but yeah. Recently, I've been looking more into early astronomy. Uh, the Dutch created the first telescope, and uh, they, you know, just went went, went crazy from there, uh, considering the fact that for most of human history, we didn't really have telescopes, so for most of human history, we were just using our eyes, and just using our eyes alone, you had the ancient Greeks that figured out, like, here's Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Just with our eyes alone, they could discern this through the sky. Like, that little dot there, it's moving. That's Saturn, and that's it's that far away. But, yeah, I love astronomy, yes. There was an astronomy course at the community college I went to. I just uh, never took it. Another regret in my life. Did you watch Supernatural? I do not. No. Do you still play Yu-Gi-Oh? What's your favorite card? A lot of people ask me. Oh, I already answered that, yeah. Uh, what program do you use for editing? Uh, PowerDirector version 12. Uh, what's the closest you've ever gotten to getting laid? Uh... There was this girl that I met once at Dollar Tree. And she was blatantly, blatantly flirting with me. Um, was not my type. You know, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to go in in depth describing her physical appearance, uh, but not my type. And after she left, uh, my boss came up to me and said, wow, she was hitting on you, like, really hard. And I'm like, yeah, I could tell. Uh, later on, uh, she was in there a few times. I think she moved away. But later on, she was in there a few times, and I got to know her a little bit. And I, one of my friends happened to know her or be acquainted with her and, and told me, oh, yeah, she's like a major slut. Or she'll sleep. She slept with a lot of guys. I don't know whether or not that's true or not. People always love to spread those kind of rumors. But I suppose if if what the rumors were true and she was flirting with me that heavily, I I guess I really could have had sex with her. But not really my type. And I'm not I'm not going to be the kind of guy that's just like, well, I need to have sex, so I guess anybody's good enough. No, I'm not that kind of guy. If I was that kind of guy, I would just you know, take out the yellow pages, go to escorts, and just hire somebody to do it for me. Um, you do it for me. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just going to lay down and go to sleep. You take care of it for me. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. How did you get into YouTube, and do you see yourself maybe reaching over a million subs? I do not see myself over reaching a million subs, simply because there's a cap on, like, the most popular YouTuber that talks about anime is Misty Cronexia, and he doesn't even have a million subscribers, okay? And he has, like, 900,000. He's almost to a million, so... He would be the first per... But, you know, he talks about anime in a very broad fashion. He doesn't just talk about manga or weekly manga releases. He just makes general videos about, an like, top 10 badass anime characters or top 10 sexy anime girls. You know, he focuses a lot on that aspect. Um, and a few of his videos, I would say, are clickbaity or with the titles you know, and stuff like that, but, um, he is the most popular at the moment, and, um, yeah, if, if, if I wanted to hit a million, I'd have to really branch out into more stuff than just Bleach and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Um, how did I get into YouTube? Um, I was a big fan of like uh, Doug Walker, Nostalgia Critic, AVGN, James Rolfe, Noah Antweiler, Lewis Lovehog, Brad Jones, and um, I'm just like, well, they these guys are doing it. I guess I could too, and here we are. What we'll got you into Doctor Who? Uh, there was a woman, a girl I went to school with, uh, in high school with. Uh, she, her name was Sydney, one of the girls I had a big crush on, and she was way into Doctor Who. And uh, she told me to go watch an episode called Blink, which was a really good episode. Uh, David Tennant's era as the 10th Doctor. I watched it. I enjoyed it very much. And there you go. And what do you think of the new companion? I forget her name, but she seems very bubbly and cheery and, you know, not much really to know about her yet. But she seems interesting and I'm looking forward to her. Good contrast to um, Peter Capaldi anyway, so we'll see. Although I'm going to miss Clara. Jenna Lee's Coleman is so fucking hot and so fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm going to miss her so much. She's so cute. She is so adorable. Have you ever read the book series of Michael Scott? I already read that one. Uh, You know what? We've been going for a little bit there, and I would really love to get into a political discussion about Trump right now, but um, yeah, I'm going to skip this one. Are you really going bald? All right, I need to correct this right now because I, I didn't even notice this when I was filming it. But yeah, when I filmed the last Bleach review, there was a spot on my head where it looked like a bald spot. And that's all anybody could talk about in the fucking, re in the fucking comments. Like, you're going bald. Um, okay, so my hair, you know, is up here. You know, it stretches down to here, but it's really up here because that's where my hairline is. It's just, you know... I have long, I got, I have, I have bangs, because I like longer hair. So basically, what happened was, you know, I had this spot up here, and then I guess it was closed in more down here, the way I combed. So, gave the appearance. I just showered, so my hair's all frizzy. But I guess it gave the appearance that I had like a bald spot or something. Yeah, but that's where the part in my hair is. You can see I, I have more than enough hair to spare. I'm not going bald, trust me. Um, I'm not. But that's just how it looked in the review. But um, I think I'm going to end this here because I've been going on for a while now. Uh, I don't know how long I've been going on for, probably close to an hour. But thank you guys for watching anyway. And uh, I'll see you back here next time. I'm, I'm going to do another stream with maybe another topic at some point. So... See you then. Later.